Hock are just launching a brand new aero road helmet called the Ventral. And they've very kindly flown us out to Sweden to actually come and take a look at it. There is a full in-depth feature on it over on the GCN Tech channel right now. But before we get too into the minutiae, I actually just want to find out a little bit more about this super cool company, the headquarters of which are just up there. And you may be able to tell by my borrowed coat, helmet and bike, I have already been there this morning. Pox HQ is in a mega looking office block in a very cool part of Stockholm. Actually, all of Stockholm is pretty cool, or at least it certainly is today. It's minus seven. But having said that, there are a lot of bike riders still buzzing around the place, which is amazing to see. Anyway, we're heading just up there. Right then, here we go. I'd not actually been in a design savvy Scandinavian office before, but I'm not gonna lie, this is everything I hoped it would be. We've got nice high ceilings, massive windows, loads of natural light, open plan, communal dining, very, very cool. But the GMBN guys actually, you've already been here, did tell me I do need to check out the branded coffee machine. I need no second bidding. It seems like a very good place to start. Uh, mugs. Now Park have got quite a recent history in road cycling, but the company was founded back in 2005 with skiing helmets. They then transitioned over into mountain biking in 2007, and then the first range for road cyclists wasn't until 2014 when they came in with helmets, eyewear and clothing. You can see then that there's quite a variety to the range, but the central theme through all of it is that it's got to enhance the safety of the customer in some way. So helmets, that's quite an obvious one. Body armour, obvious one as well. Eyewear, dual function that one because actually protecting your eyes is pretty valid and they've said actually their latest range of lenses called Clarity actually enhance certain light conditions and improve your visibility and thereby safety as well. And then clothing as well, well that's just designed to improve your visibility too. So you can see where we're going with all of this. So I don't know about you, but I'm really intrigued as to know where this central mission has actually come from. I think we need to find someone to talk to after I finish my coffee. Now I found this man, Damien, uh, who's going to tell us all about it. Unfortunately, you're not quite as Swedish as I was initially hoping for, but you know, that's fine. You do the job. Uh, so how exactly did this mission come about, this mission of safety? So POC was founded, um, let's say, 12, 13 years ago. And Stefan Itterborn, the guy who created it, was a passionate skier doing ski competitions with his children and then realised actually at some stage with his kids that the protection in skiing was not developing as fast as other parts of skiing. So the speeds the kids were travelling at was a lot more, let's say, in terms of downhill speeds and the impacts were a lot bigger. So he thought there's definitely a need here for something that's better, better designed, but better protection and just a better overall concept in terms of protection and safety. Okay, and then the move into mountain biking, did that come from from a passion of, of Stefan's or is, is that? Yeah, I think, yeah, definitely. He was definitely into mountain biking as well. I think most Scandinavians or Swedes, especially in this area, have got a lot of mountain biking available to them. So they're into mountain biking too. But the reality is, I think in downhill skiing and in sort of downhill mountain biking, the terrain is much the same and a lot of the needs are very similar too. So there was a natural shift across from skiing to mountain biking. Yeah, and if the safety thing runs through the whole range, there is also a really clear design aesthetic to all park products. Yeah. And so, so how do the two kind of sit together, safety and design? Yeah, it's funny because, I mean, let's say Sweden or Scandinavia is well known for design. So actually you'd kind of expect some of that aspect of it to be in POC product. But the reality is that safety is the most important part. Design comes afterwards, but we realize also that the best or the safest helmet is one that somebody chooses to wear. And that's often down to a design choice. And so we make a lot of effort to make sure that the design is right, but the safety is the starting point for everything that we do. So that comes, the safety is the starting point and the design comes afterwards. So 
Simon, I've also heard quite a few things about glasses and how old your glasses are. <laughs> <laughs> and they really need replacing. So I think it's about time you got some new eyewear. Well, thank you very much. How do I look? Fear and loathing in Las Vegas? No? In total, there are 35 people that work here in the Swedish office, and this is like the engine room of the company. They've also got other offices in the US and Central Europe as well, but it's still a relatively small team to have made quite such a big impact in snow sports and mountain biking and road cycling as well. And I think part of it, certainly my impression anyway, from pottering around and chatting to people here, is their openness to collaboration. An example of which would be the POC Lab, which is a panel of experts from different fields. So you have neurologists who can consult on brain injuries, orthopedic surgeons who are doctors that deal with fractured bones, but then you also have people that can actually help prevent accidents in the first place. Perhaps the most interesting one for us roadies is a woman called Magdalena Lindman, who works for Volvo Car and she is a traffic data analyst. So to find out a little bit more about that particular partnership, we need to talk to Johan, who is the digital business and collaborations manager. And he's just down there. Right, so I've just been talking about the partnership with Volvo. Uh, what did POC get out of that exactly? I'm really interested. Well, the partnership with Volvo is very important. And um, from, from a holistic point of view, uh, we share the same heritage when it comes to safety, uh, also the Swedish you know, quality and design. And it allows us to explore possibilities and experience and knowledge within safety to find new ideas for uh, safety functions or design. And so, so how's that worked in the past and, and is it something, an ongoing project as well? Uh, yeah, we did uh, some projects and concepts in the past. Now we are in two different projects together. First project where we want to be a part of the connected vehicle uh, environment. Uh, vehicle to vehicle communication will be a standardized protocol and I want the cyclists to be part of that network. So that's a little bit like autonomous cars actually being able to see cyclists because at the minute I gather we're a bit of a problem to them. But. Normally this industry is very automotive focused in the development um, and I also want to be a part of that environment to be able to have the information and uh, take you know, decisions and give feedback to the cyclist from the same environment. And so does this come from the, the traffic data analysis? Then? Yes, exactly. And so they've literally been able to tell you, you know, these are the incidents that you know, have been in with Volvo cars and cyclists and these are the most common. They have a lot of statistics and uh, background when it comes to crashes, where they occur and, and why and what kind of environment they were in. And if you go from that uh, and see where the statistics is the worst, we can try to solve that also from our side. Now I noticed as well in your job site that you are digital business manager as well. Um, so, so how does you know how does technology come into you know digital technology come into safety as well? We, we haven't seen too much of it on the road side of yet. Yeah. So, uh, POC Aid is about finding and integrating digital applications and electronics in our products to support the safety uh, mission. How can we use technology within electronics to make the product more safe? And that can be from simple integration when it comes to you know, visibility, uh, LED or even a more advanced printed lights, electroluminance inside the garments uh, to increase visibility. How can we help the user to be searchable? How can we help the user to be trackable? Communication devices, um, so more simple applications and also uh, adaptive geometry, how can we integrate, for example, airbags and uh, stuff like this into the, uh, in the cyclist environment. This little fella is Gustav Larsson, Swedish time trial ace. And this is a POC aero helmet that was designed specifically for him for the London 2012 Olympics. Now, it's fair to say that it rather divided opinion when it comes to the aesthetics, but when you stick it on Gustav's head, you kind of see exactly why it was designed like that. Amazing. So it was a complete conceptual design. It was a project specifically for Gustav Larsson. Check it out. The most aero helmet for him. I'm not sure that's going to go over my ears. 
Has he got small ears? So Johan's just been talking about one of the POC Aid digital projects, and that is this little bad boy here, which is the wearable and washable printed LED fabric. So this product is still in development. You can see it's a vest or a gilet. Uh, and here on this back panel, you've got your wearable LED, which is just genius because you kind of wouldn't really know it was there. Um, but then it doesn't have to be quite so complicated as that. The commuter jacket that I was wearing first thing this morning has this, as you saw, built-in iPhone holder that you can then tuck away in your pocket. And they've also built an app uh, along with another collaboration with a tech startup called Poc See Me. And it basically turns your iPhone into a blinking rear light or indeed an indicator when you tell it to turn left or right, which is kind of cool. I actually first saw that in Eurobike a couple of years ago. And it has to be said, I was quite taken with it back then. But it's not all about digital uh, in their clothing range. So I mentioned the beginning, they've got clothing to improve your visibility. And so it's called AVIP, which stands for Attention Visibility Interaction Protection. Uh, and basically they've worked out through their own research, the key colors that can really help to make a cyclist stand out. And not only the colors, but also the print as well. And so this mirrors effectively the uh, design of the helmet as well. And then you've got these really super bright, vibrant colors. And then they've also built in protection into other garments as well. So one of my favorites is in the rain jacket, they got this new super tough Vectran fabric on the forearms. So the whole jacket is made of like a normal super lightweight, uh, waterproof, breathable fabric. You couldn't make the whole thing out of Vectran because it would weigh a ton. But in a key area that matches up, funnily enough, with scars that I have on my own forearms, so actually gives a bit of extra life to the jacket and also a little bit of extra life to your forearms, much like this next one here, which is actually a ceramic printed fabric. So it's like a, a normal lycra, so it's stretchy in every way, but it's been printed with a ceramic coating that basically helps to make it slide. So if you were to fall off your bike wearing this, then you basically get much less gravel rash, which sounds like a bonus. So that can be printed onto key areas of your shorts, or like you can see here, again, on the sleeves of the long sleeve jersey. So there, there we go. Cut down on gravel rash. And then finally, I know this is technically mountain biking, but bear with me, because it's cross country mountain biking. They've got another Kodura fabric on the shoulders there. So anyone who's been mountain biking in the summer, in woods, you know that you bash up against loads of trees and brambles and stuff, and so that, adds life to the jersey again, but also a little bit of security to your body as well. So a bonus there. Right, so we've talked about POC Lab, POC Aid, we've talked about AVIP clothing. What we haven't done, and seeing as that's kind of why we're here, is talk about helmets yet. So I think we need to remedy that, and remedy it quickly. And finally then, we have got the helmet design team. Would you believe it, there's only three of them. We've got Klaas, the designer in the corner. Hello Klaas. Uh, as well as helmets, you can see he's also a designer of eyewear. Then we've got two engineers. Uh, so we've got Magnus, just here. And then we've also got Frederick, who unfortunately isn't in today. Now they work across all disciplines, so skiing, mountain biking, and road cycling, which is pretty cool if you ask me, because if there is gonna be an innovation in one sport, it can therefore also spread across to the others as well. So for example, if we look at the construction of ski helmets, it's very different to the normal road cycling helmets that we see. They're basically more robust to repeated impacts. Well, some of them are anyway, because of those that are designed for ski racing, where you wallop your head repeatedly against the ski gates. And so the construction is therefore slightly different. And that construction then migrated its way over to commuter helmets, okay? So instead of that EPS foam, it's made of what's called an EPP foam. And so you can see it's slightly squishy and that elasticity allows it to bounce back when you have those smaller impacts. It is, however, a little bit on the heavier side, which is why roadies don't normally use this kind of thing, but perfect for commuters. Right, now, as I mentioned, we have got a video over on the tech channel where we go into this, the new Ventral, in great detail. Magnus is going to talk us through not only the safety, but also the aerodynamic side as well. So why not head over to watch that video right now? There will be a link very shortly. Safety, it's not normally a glamorous kind of subject, but POC are definitely making it cool. And not only that, there's also this kind of infectious sense of enthusiasm on the subject that pervades the whole company. 
and I really like it. So thank you very much to Park, in fact, for having us here for the day. I think it's been absolutely fascinating. Do make sure you give the video a big thumbs up if you think so as well. And of course, don't forget to go and watch the video on this, the new Ventral after. The link is just there.